More extras. Oh god, extras! <laughs> so, we know what this video is, right? It's Julius Mode. Yeah, it's yeah. the boy! Julius Mode Game? is just like, return to form Castlevania. Simpler. Well, hello there, fast cheese! Hello! So, like, simpler, no fancy souls or uh, no items, no money, no shop, no like status effects, none of that. Just whip, sub, -weapons. sub weapons, let's go. And the Grand Cross. So we don't have a bit for the recharge before we can do that one. <laughs> we don't actually have an, uh, high enough max MP to do the Grand yeah. Cross right now. And it changes some music. No pause screen either. You just pause. Don't need that fan. Uh, and also, no, uh, a no, uh, a not no damage run. This is three. And no fancy, no damage runs, correct. So, Julius controls pretty much like you'd expect. A little stiffer than you'd expect, maybe? I mean, Belmonts are typically pretty fucking stiff, so. See, also, Smash Bros. That's true. I think, he, I think it was. Like, ridiculously spry back in uh, Arya of Sorrow, though. I did not actually play Julius Mode in Arya, so I'm not sure. I just remember that as being, like, a weird, sort of weirdly a power trip mode. Here, he's more. I mean. Classic. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess in Arya, it was probably be more closer to Richter mode, which, while Richter is a Belmont, that boy had moves in Symphony. Yeah. Whereas here, it's probably trying to be more of a hybridization of actual Classic Vania and the Richter mode. More or less. You also start Richard, with- I'm okay with. You also start with all of the power-ups you get through the game, so you can sink like a rock, for whatever good that does out here. You can double jump, you can drop kick, everything that you need to actually, like, get through. I mean, drop kick's a part of the double jump, but yeah. Does that mean yep. he also should have been able to make it over the gate? Yes, and you can do that, it's just- it's just you gotta sort make of precise. Jump. Also, that pass passageway in there, that switch to lower the drawbridge is right in the way, so Julius would have had to specifically double jump over that in, in, in that first part. <laughs> just to be a jerk. Yep. Sounds like Julius, alright. So, one change Man. that we might appreciate here, well, actually, first. Let's check out how that Grand Cross looks. Wow, that did a bit of damage, I guess. Yeah, they nerfed it real bad. They also usually that thing's a it's a screen nuke in the older games. It does at so. least it does at least make you invincible and suck and like suck up projectiles, like give that vacuum effect. But it's hmm. pretty lame. Oh Don't use it. Yeah. Oh, they, they really nerfed the Grand Cross. Even the normal that's cross the one is they pretty bad. So, like, yeah, Julius doesn't need the fancy seals. He's too good for those. He also said he couldn't use them. He also has the Shoryuken. Yep, strike a pose. I mean, I love, uh, I love this. This is actually a pretty good remix for Vampire Killer for the DS. I, I don't know what the original was. I, I assume it debuted in... Aria, but yeah, it's good. No, no, this is this is Vampire Killer. This is the original Stage One song. Oh wow! It doesn't sound like Stage yeah. One to me. It sounds like a different game. Yeah. So we see Hammer Shop is empty. Yoko Shop is occupied, actually. This is not just Julius mode. This is Julius and Friends mode. Friendship. Friendship. So, one downside about having not no pause screen is you can't reconfigure controls to your liking. But yes, huh. Yoko Julius, Yoko Yul Julius. This is actually a reference That's to Castlevania to Three. Which they probably well no I think Portrait came after see, this. See my thought is isn't this song from Castlevania Three as opposed to like one. This may be beginnings then. I kind of get the two confused. I would not be surprised at all if this was Castlevania Three. Yeah, well, I say this as someone who hasn't even played the series. <laughs> I to be fair it's been a little bit and I the most recent game I was playing was one so more I'm more remembering one than three right now. But yeah this. But 
Yeah, I at least know some of the music, at least from Smash. I know at least some of Castlevania's music yeah. in general. But this, uh, the whole thing with Yoko is definitely a reference to 3, because she's kind of playing like a modernized version of, uh, well, Saifa. You can yep. dodge with that. So Yoko, instead of, instead of Julius' sub-weapon, she has three elemental spells, and also a backdash that goes a hilariously long way, and a basic attack with a nice overhead arc and sucks up enemy HP and MP. Her, like, yeah, her, her, like... Her Refills her her spells don't there. quite match Scythe's, but their modernization's all right. Because she has a fire spell, an ice the, spell, a thunder spell. The real thing to note is that the thunder spell takes up way too much MP to be worth it. Ice is great. What the hell? But slow and fiery is close range. Look who it is. And he's yeah. even using a symphony spray. But oh god, that portrait. Hmm. I like his. I like his light blue outline. Yeah, he didn't have that in. Uh, Tiffany. He he would probably <laughs> blend in with the background here. Otherwise, let's be real. Probably because he's get, he's I using an yeah, older aspirate too. Okay. I was joking about Alucard being in his old outfit. Here he is. And yep, triple fireballs. Alucard is a lot. Is sort of like the hardest to use of the characters. He's got great mobility, but his only sub weapon options, so to speak, are, are the balls. The fireballs and transforming into a bat. Which, that's actually referencing uh, his original dying. appearance. Because originally he only had the fireballs as his main weapon, and then the bat form as his sub-weapon. Now he has the sword from Symphony. Yeah. He's kind of a weird hodgepodge of his two forms, which I, makes sense, given this is a giant three reference. Yep. But, eh. Yep. So Alucard has, like, the fewest options, but he's, but, like... He's the one who can actually cancel his attacks with, like, jumping and stuff, and attack quickly. Which matches Symphony. Yep, so wow. he's probably the best for, like, speedruns and, uh, like, damaging bosses quickly in boss fights and all that, but I've... Probably. But Yoko is also, is, like, the second best damage output, but a lot easier to use. He's yeah, Saifa is the case. You have to use sub weapons a lot. Alucard will actually. Mm. Yep, Alucard. I was just demonstrating there is also, he's also got the fastest move with those back dashes. He does have uh, one. Uh, okay, that's okay, accurate. It's faster than I was gonna say. That's faster than Yoko's massive back dash. Yeah, because you could cancel it faster. I'm thinking, which is again referencing Symphony, because the back dash was the best movement tech in Symphony. So um, Alucard can't slide. Uh, uh. I don't think he. Could in Symphony. If he did, it was a crap slide. And that's probably why, but like. So, like, Alucard has almost everything, but does not have a full range of movement. Julius does. Yeah. Gotta make Jay useful for something. Yep. So, we. Since you can. We're, you can sort of go off the rails and fight bosses in any order you please, and this ended. The Puppet Master here ended up being a good option to show off everybody's strengths a little bit. Yoko is great for raw damage when she has MP and she has time to actually set up her attacks. But this boss really doesn't give you those, that time, so we got Alucard doing fast hits and aerial stuff. Also, for some reason in, in Julius mode, the puppets take four hits instead of two. Probably because you have way more options Ooh. you can just readily do. Ooh. Surprise! Iron Maiden's hurt! No shit, really? What was your first clue? Oh hey, the whip dangle! Yep. And I knew I forgot about to ask about something. That's good proof that it's actually four hits and not any amount of damage, because that thing dies from 20 damage total, or like a couple hundred. Depending on the strength of the hits. Right. Julius... It, uh, doesn't have, like, specific strengths compared to the other two, other than taking less damage than either one, and... Well, the damage is ba the damage difference is basically negligible. Julius's main thing is he's got better range than the other do on his main attack, and like he's got a fuller range of movement. So like, if you're yeah. ever in trouble, he's the Mario. Ju yeah, if you're ever in trouble, Julius can get you out of it. Which so it's pretty much the big thing is if you want good physical play, go Alucard. If you want good magic play, Sight or Yoko. If you want balance, go, go Belmont. Yep. Which, Julius like, ends up feeling, Julius ends up feeling like he gets the short end of the stick, honestly. But it's still just a fun. It's still fun playing as any of the three. 
Yeah, and to be f he does get a whip. To be fair. Yep. Also, uh, in the in the case of uh, that's kind of the problem with any Mario, quote unquote, is that the balanced characters always feel kind of the weakest. But their job is to be the more bog standard. They're good for anything. Yep. Hey, um. Second new song. So. Bloody tears. Goal, that's that's bloody tears. The whole goal of, well, not new song. Second second song that's been replaced. For Julius mode, the whole goal of um, Julius mode, while we showcase some Malakar gameplay here, is to un uncork that dark aura there by defeating enough bosses. Every Quetzalcoatl needs to die. By the way. <laughs> I don't know exactly That's... how many bosses it takes because, like, some sources say all of them, some sources say, like, only these specific four, some sources say these specific ten. I ended up fighting mm. all but one of them, and my last boss was Balore, the usual first boss that some sources said was not necessary, and it's just weird and confusing, so whatever. Hmm. That's weird. But, like, basically... Once you defeat enough bosses slash the right bosses, you can go into the Mind Adjustment and finish the game. Bell. You no, know, it did just cross my mind that that first song definitely was not Vampire Killer when Vampire Killer was already remixed in this game. Oh, yeah, then it is beginnings. So then I, again, I get begin, <laughs> I get beginnings and Vampire Killer mixed up a little bit sometimes. And now Yoko's gonna make out with Yoko. Convincing disguise there. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of which, other small changes. Julius cannot sit. Yoko cannot sit. Yep. Alucard can sit. Yep. That is for using those sprites. Also, you guys have. Oh yeah. Alucard is also the one with this thing. Hey, the knife. Uh, the knife backstab move. That helps a lot with the locust boss. I can. Also, see you guys now. have helped me notice this. Um. Alucard does not have a mirror reflection. Ah! <laughs> Someone does, or at least he used to. Uma. Uma. Ah. Julius mode is the continuation of the bad ending. What is a man? And the neat thing is someone's actually using the souls from the game, which uh, means, oh no. Oh boy. Since this is technically new content, I decided we'll finish things off with one more no damage run. Julius's holy element actually does help a bit here. Makes sense. And like, like Yoko, is this a remix? I think this is. Oh, I I have no authority on the subject. Actually, I have no idea. I, I mean, if it is a remix, it's probably a remix to one of the Dracula fights. I just don't remember which one. I know is that you need to unlock the mind of judgment to fight death only so you can uncork coming up here. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. This wasn't this wasn't normally where it ended. Makes some sense. If you get here regularly, you're finding acne. Oh, it's this hey, the yep. symphony form, which is pretty much like the canonical second form nowadays. Still using all the souls from the game. The harpy sword doesn't do much unless you try and pass it underneath, in which case you gotta watch out more. Yeah, that'll get whacked. One of the, the Yoko's ice spell is usually one of the best to use against bosses because they're ginormous and it tends to multi-hit. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah, which helpful against boss fights. Yeah. They got their hitboxes. Use them. Whenever Soma just sort of tenses up like that, it's gonna use the Abaddon Soul, and there's and you gotta go far away to get away from the locusts. If you're cornered, mm, good luck. <laughs> Dodge. Yeah, I, yeah. I was about to say this looks very easy. Then that happened. Uh, crossing crossing signs underneath him when he jumps is more precise than it looks. Not because he's gonna land it's, on you. I imagine. Yeah, that tends to be the case. Yeah. Not because he's gonna land on you, but because you are shaving pixels off getting under that first. Mm. Like either either you're shaving pixels off his foot on your way in, or you're shaving pixels off with with that larva that's going straight down on your way out. Yeah. Hope you're good at Toho dodging, basically. Yeah. With some very fat hitboxes. Honest, like. 
as you could expect, he, he does damage fitting of being Dracula. So, uh... Get good. Don't get hit. Like, you can only take a few hits, and that actually makes this pretty tense, despite looking fairly easy. Yeah. That always tends to be Dracula's thing. Sucker can toss out hitboxes for days, and if you get hit by him, you're gonna get whacked real bad. But if you know how to actually pay attention and dodge, he's not too bad. Yep. You also, you also gotta remember not to forget about the harpy when you cross, because if you keep walking, she'll nail you right there. But there we go. The evil has been defeated. Dracula and Soma are no more. And Arakata put on the nice suit. Yep. Dana has been saved, credits roll. Luckily, that could have oh, happened, yeah. but it didn't. Kind of nice that they actually gave a little bit of story to the Julius mode in this one, because I think in Aria it was just a for funsies mode. Yeah. Fair, that's what Minute Nightmare is in Kirby. <laughs> Most of the time. Let's so then, do the time warp again! There's just one more thing to show after all this. Whoops. This was not perfect. Outtake real, let's go. Oh, I was not waiting for this. It's a large one, but it'll be a couple minutes worth. Oh, <laughs> yep, just one. the most carefully <laughs> selected bullshit and stupid maneuvers from across the game. Oh, so this... sitting still hurts you. <laughs> Skeletons are really messing you up, huh? Oh, yeah, and I'll blow the ketchup a little. Whack! Whack! So you think it hit the first time, but the second Believe time... Believe me! Oh god. <laughs> That's wow. unbelievable. Yep. You're and they have it. Whoa! Wait, yep. Oh god! Ghouls! <laughs> Pass it on. Oh god, Tam Ghouls. Medusas, yep, that's about right. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, Medusa heads. It heads. doesn't Never stop. Whoa. Please do. And bats. Yep, that's about right. Look at this bullshit. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm up here now. Oh, Whoop. Medusas. It yep. doesn't stop. <laughs> the, the, the heart rebound! Oh. I fucked it up with the vacuum cleaner, but it didn't do anything. It doesn't stop, by the way. Ag the Agni one was also pretty bullcrap. Pointing! Oh, out of nowhere! Death, please back and off. Death, yeah. social okay. distance! Death, please back off, no! Okay. Oh, no, you're screwed. <laughs> Nope. Oh, on the, the backswing, <laughs> final boss jab. Of course, the final boss with its own entire ordeal. Look at all this. Yep. I can <laughs> believe <laughs> this. <laughs> what? Oh. Those things hurt. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Look so at all things. of them. <laughs> it's a final boss. Okay, Get like good. 19 is like not small damage for those tiny things. And just show a death animation quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, ooh, that's a screen. pretty image. And that's everything. Uh, <laughs> good thing I asked for that. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Indeed.